Hi, I'm Christian. Thanks for joining me. I wanted to bring you a quick video about my Begara HMR. I've had this rifle since 2018 and it's got 3,000 rounds down the barrel now, 6.5 Creedmoor, um, and it's come to the end of its competition life uh, and I'm retiring it to become a dedicated stalking rifle. So I thought it'd probably time to talk a little bit about why I bought this rifle and what I've used it for since 2018 um, and why I think it could be um, one of the best all-purpose rifles for somebody that's wanting to do a little bit of deer stalking, a little bit of hunting, um, as well as shooting in competitions and precision rifle type matches as a one rifle option to do all of those things um, this has just been absolutely fantastic for me um, so a little bit about um, the rifle itself uh, it's the Begara B14 standard action uh, 24 inch barrel 1 in 8 twi twist um, 6.5 Creedmoor um, it's threaded at the end M18 by 1 thread on there for a for a muzzle brake, as you can see that I've got on here, this is a Vigara muzzle brake that I've used in precision rifle matches. Um, but it also takes sound moderators as well. Um, it's a Remington 700 footprint, so you can take the barreled action out of this stock and drop it in any Remington 700 aftermarket stock or chassis. Um, but I've been very, very happy with the HMR stock. So I just decided to leave it in there and it, it's really, it's the HMR stock that makes this a real all-purpose rifle anyway. Um, so yeah, the stock is um, the HMR hunting match rifle stock. It's got a, a mini aluminium chassis that runs through the inside of the over-moulded stock. Um, it starts at here at the front of the forend runs all the way back to about halfway down here um, and what this mini aluminium frame inside the stock does is it gives um, a really good place to to mate the b14 action to there's no bedding that's needed in this rifle just goes directly onto that mini chassis that's inside and um, screws on with two action screws uh, front and rear and it gives some real rigidity to the stock um, and, and repeatable accuracy as well. Um, the stock has got then a pistol style grip here. It's got adjustable comb and adjustable length of pull. Um, so you can really set up the rifle to suit yourself. Um, it's then got two QD studs at the uh, two QD positions at the front here um, and it's also got two QD mounts at the back portion here as well so you can um, put a sling onto the rifle um, to any configuration really that you want to get out of that. Um, if you look underneath the stock it, it does normally have a position here and here to mount um, swivel studs that come supplied with the rifle as well as one at the back of the rifle on the butt. Um, but I chose to remove these, these swivel studs which again screw directly into the mini chassis and I replaced them with this um, piece of rail and that's meant that um, when I've been using the rifle um, I've been able to put um, a quick release mount on there with a with an atlas bipod which you can see here on the xlr chassis or i've also been using the boscobel weapon systems bell lock bipod which you can see here on the b14r so although this is a traditional stock it's got some real um adjustability in it and it's got some real options for a couple of very easy adaptations so that you can run something like a quick release um, system on a bipod and um, you're not limited to the to the swivel studs 
Um, because it's a Remington 700 uh, footprint action, it's also very easy to get aftermarket bases. Um, I'm actually, on this particular rifle, I've got a 20 MOA Vigara uh, fully steel um, rail. Um, and on top of that, I've got a spur um, mono mount, um, which I've then got my IOR Recon 4 to 28 by 50 scope, first vocal plane scope sitting inside inside that. Um, fantastic scope um, for stalking with some really nice shot glass in there, but also with a, a more tactical match um, set up in terms of the, the reticle inside there, the dialable turrets um, and the magnification range that's perfect for shooting precision rifle matches and also shooting at the range. Um, so like I say, I bought this rifle back in 2018 and this was when I was just starting to, um, to get into shooting. And because it was my first rifle, I first of all wanted, wanted it to have a, a caliber that would suit um, a lot of purposes. And that's why I settled on the 6.5 Creedmoor. And um, I did a lot of research and I, and I realized that the 6.5 Creedmoor was very, very flexible um, in terms of application, good for hunting, um, uh, game, foxes, um, you know, all the way up to large deer sizes, certainly capable of taking anything that we'd be stalking in the UK. Um, but then the 6.5 Creedmoor was also around that was um, that was gaining a lot of excitement on the precision rifle circuit over in over in the USA. Um, people were were switching away from more traditional cal calibers over to the 6.5 Creedmoor. Um, again, great all-purpose round. Um, at that time, back in 2018, I wasn't really thinking about shooting precision rifle matches. I was thinking more along the lines of getting into deer stalking and um, shooting more bench rest type matches um, with my local club. Um, precision rifle was something that, that I started to turn my mind to um, maybe a year or two after I bought this rifle. Um, but I was glad that I went with this rifle because again, um, e excellent for that sort of shooting off barricade. For a factory offering, I, I don't think there's much better um, rifles to come across for shooting a precision rifle match that can not, that's also equally at home on the side of the hill um, uh, stalking deer. Um, you have to work with the gun a little bit when you're shooting, when you're doing positional shooting. Um, you know, it certainly would benefit from having maybe a little bit more weight in the fore end. Um, but you know, a, a competent marksman can certainly get the most out of this out of this rifle. Um, it came with one magazine, which was a, a Bagara own branded AICS star magazine. Um, I um, bought an additional one from uh, Magpul, I think it was six round magazine. Uh, and then when I started shooting precision rifle matches, um, I very quickly bought myself a 12 round magazine from MDT, although when I'm shooting IPRF factory division matches, um, I can only load that with 10 rounds. Um, likewise, I had to do a small adaptation on my Picatinny rail on the front for that to, um, for that to qualify for factory as well. Um, the ammunition that I mostly use is Cellular and Bellet, um, 6.5 match ammunition um, for when I'm shooting pre PRS matches and um, soft point ammunition, lead soft point ammunition for deer stalking. And, and that's where you've got, that's where you start to enter into some of the drawbacks of having one rifle to do everything because, you know, maybe this, this ammunition isn't great for deer stalking, this ammunition isn't great for shooting a match with. Um, so, you know, you're having to swap between the two, you're having to take muzzle brakes off when you shoot, you know, haven't put muzzle brakes on when you shoot the match, take them off to put a, to put a suppressor on when you, when you go in deer stalking. And again, that brings with it its own challenges because then you're having to re-zero for the ammunition, re-zero for your setup with a, with a um, moderator versus a break. Um, but if you're, if you're happy to, to keep moving between the two, then certainly this rifle is, is, is an excellent choice for doing everything that you needed to. Um, 
it has got 3,000 rounds down the barrel, as I mentioned at the beginning. Um, so, and I have lost a little bit of velocity um, from the rifle, from the barrel, um, although it is still maintaining its sub MOA accuracy. Um, it's been performing absolutely fantastic in some recent precision rifle matches where it's, where it's helped me achieve some of my best results. Um, but it is now time to, you know, to move it away from those 100 round a day match matches that it has been shooting and I want to preserve what life is left on the barrel and this is now being retired for an out and out stalking rifle. Um, what I am going to be replacing it with however is just on the wall behind me and let me bring that over. So the HMR is going to now be replaced with another B14 action, okay, the same as the B14 action that's on this rifle here. Uh, it's got the same Begara performance trigger that I'm very, very used to, same Begara performance trigger that's on here. Um, but instead of a 24 inch barrel, what I've now got is a stainless steel number seven profile, 26 inch barrel, 26 versus 24 inch barrel. Um, that'll give me extra velocity, extra thickness in the barrel to to um to ensure that when i'm shooting them them high round count match stages the barrel can handle the the heat very well um, and also with the additional weight on the front of the barrel i'll have a much better balanced rifle for shooting on barricades and um, again this is screw cut uh, the same as this one is screw cut to take a to take a muzzle break or a um, moderator. However, what I'll be putting on the front here is this muzzle break and tuner combination from MBE. Um, I'll uh, I'll do some links in the bottom of the video if anybody wants to go and check out any of their products. So that'll be going on this rifle. The the barreled action came with a ten round AICS magazine. So I've got another magazine to add to the to the fold there for precision rifle. Um, not sure what scope I'll be putting on this, but no doubt I'll be dropping it onto a spur mount. So more to come on the scope that will be going onto this. But I do know already that the the rifle itself will be getting dropped into this XLR um, NV Pro chassis with the with the full weight kit on it and the the new C six um but um so this is me setting up now for center fire precision rifle matches with a dedicated build and um, that's tuned perfectly for those sorts of competitions and like i say my trusty b14 hmr will be retired from competition and now will be an out and out stalking rifle absolutely you know pleasure to carry on a sling up and down the hills have no problems with this at all and um, if you're wondering, the rifle that's currently in here is the baby brother to this Begara barreled action. This is also a barreled action, but this is the um, the B14R barreled action, number seven profile, stainless steel barrel. Um, yeah, for for two two long rifle and um, twenty inch. So I've um, been shooting today in, in precision rifle matches, the B14R in the HMR stock, same sort of set, exactly the same setup as what I've got here. But again, that now will be a dedicated hunting rifle for the for the rabbits and the foxes and other vermin. Um, and for 2-2 competitions, move into a, a proper um, competition setup. So yeah, if, if you're um, just starting out in shooting and you're looking for one rifle to do it all, be it stalking deer, shooting foxes, shooting bench rest type competitions, or in fact shooting precision rifle matches, I'd, I'd highly recommend that you go with the um, with the Begara HMR. Um, and you know, one of the good things about this is you can have a 6.5 Creedmoor that can do everything um, but then if you also want to shoot two two precision rifle matches and hunt smaller game, get yourself a B14R um, and you'll have 
the same stock set up you can put the same scope on which is what i've done here so whenever you're out shooting your 2-2 at matches or hunting or practicing you know you can put a lot of rounds down this and preserve the rounds on this rifle um, and get all your practicing all your all your trigger practice on on that one and um, like i say 3000 rounds on this one since 2018 I've only had this one, I think, since 2000, and um, this one's knocking on over 6,000 rounds now. So yeah, the, the Bigari HMR, definitely worth um, a look. Thanks very much.